Hello, Adam here, aka Memphis Jax, and today I'm bringing you a Destiny gameplay video from the Crucible. It's a controlled game type on Exodus Blue Earth. Um, very similar to Domination game type is control. Three points, three control. flags for capture. Uh, both two teams, Bravo one spawns team. at A, one spawns at C, and the B flag is the central flag. So, what I choose That's here are my weapons, depends, close short range map I go with pulse rifle shotgun always good and machine gun is my heavy and I hear I, I, me and this guy here run to A which is the enemy spawn enemy spawn flag which uh, on the short range maps it's, it's quite it's quite a good tactic to do because you sort of cause them a bit of panic and not expect you to, to rush their their home flag um, it slows them down as well uh, but um, on any any map type uh, going for your home flag or the middle flag B, which is often the most important um, flag, is, is a good good decision. This is a, a bad move for me. Here, just rushing this guy with very little, very little shield. Uh, but yeah, sh uh, switching weapons is also something I want to talk about. It's important to have the right guns on the right map, which is why I've gone for short to medium range weapons on this map. But switching between the right gun for the right engagement like this I've got my shotgun out instantly switch realizing it's a wrong the wrong weapon but uh, and obviously I'm just checking around checking around the corners rushing back into B because the enemy have got there knowing that a shotgun is the best weapon for the job here I do get both the kills but I do get melee down as well so that's important making sure you've got the right weapon for the right engagement indoor environments I find the shotgun probably one of the best weapons auto rifles very good for that as well um, get a bit lucky with this one I should not have won that one but my uh, my fist fist did the talking for me there uh, and also if you um, if you get into an engagement where you shield like this here I, I get quite a few bullets put in me um, I do put him down but there's another guy approaching don't feel uh, like you can't take cover to, to replenish your shield it's one thing that will keep you alive and Zone C secure. You control all zones. Keep an eye on the map, see which flags are going. We've got B and C. A, a is going, so I, I, I'll take, take the, the dash there. Using your grenades to uh, um, sort of foil your approach into a flag always a good a good way. Using the jump as well is always a always a good tactic to use one on one battles. If you, but the good thing about domination is if you're approaching a, a flag that's getting captured, you know the enemy's there, so you can get your grenades in early, get your grenades into uh, do some do some early damage, pick up ammo as you go around the maps. I'm always using the shotgun on the on, on control, so I always have to pick up these uh, these sort of special ammo. I didn't really use my Heavy ammo radar ammo. very well there. There was a guy right behind me. I didn't didn't pick up on him before it was too late. That's pretty good. Heavy ammo also, when you're moving between uh, around the map and there's nothing on your radar, make sure you, you're reloading all your weapon, all your weapons so that they're, they're fully armoured. Again here, using my fist of hope. We'll talk more about um, the specials, particularly fists of havoc, uh, as I. Zone A's captured. It's yours. Zone B neutralized. Very good gun is the uh, machine gun. I do like it. I mean, rocket launcher is just as good on uh, on this type of on this game type. Because obviously, if you again, like we're approaching A here, I fail my grenade, but managed to get a good few shots on these guys here with heavy uh, with heavy machine gun. Make a mistake of aiming on the first guy and then go for the second guy behind him. Where I've got all three of them, but I could have avoided a death there. And again, using the radar is one thing that I don't think many people are really used to. There, I spot a guy to the left. Neutralized. Probably the wrong weapon to use initially, but charging him means I can get in there quick. Uh, but if you're using a, a scoped weapon, whether it be Total auto rifle or scout rifle. By going down the sights, by aiming down sights, you do lose the radar ability. So make sure that if you are moving around the map, you, you, you're snapping in and out of your, your sights. You're not lost. constantly down the sights. Otherwise, you will miss miss enemies coming. Again, here, 
Oh, Enemy they're going. Captured. I know Zone they're going to start A. rushing because it's just been taken, so I get my grenade in. My teammate goes in first. He gets a good, good couple of kills. I can see on the radar there's nobody there, so I rush in. Again, not using my radar behind. Using my shotgun, which is the wrong weapon, but I take cover, get my shield back. If he was going to rush me, I could have got a shot on him and a, and a punch as well, but teammate manages to bail me out there. You neutralized zone A. And yeah, don't jump off the map. That's, uh, that's a lesson I learned there. Make sure you're aware of where you are on the map, and if you are going to use your jump or double jump, you're not going to fly off. In terms of Fist of Havoc, your special, again, I wouldn't recommend using it one on one. Uh, in, in, in a gunfight, you should be able to quite comfortably win win those using the weapons and possibly Enemy grenades tools at your disposal without having to go to the to the special. Zone A lost. This guy was shooting at somebody else, I wouldn't pass that out, that was more of a two on one. But I'm saving my supercharge not for a single kill. Um, but for sort of multi multiple kills, particularly on you control, where you know there's going to be C. more than one enemy on a flag on at any one time, generally. Using this guy's shield, captured. bit of protection. Oh, this guy went straight through it and doesn't even see me first. Um, yeah, uh, I, I do say I do like to save the fist of uh, fist of havoc for when there's more than one enemy, because it is so devastating that you can take more than one of them out. Uh, there is a there is a. A clip at the end of this video, so so stay, stick around right for the end, and you'll see uh, see me using the Fisher Havoc to its full potential. Zone but um, there is a lost. clip of it coming up soon, actually, on here. But yeah, the pushed on to A seems to be taking it without trouble, and B's closest Enemy to me. I know there's a couple of guys B. in it using this heavy weapon that I picked up. Keep you keep your eye on the map for heavy weapon ammo drop. They do come periodically. Uh, they do come in the same location, so if you picked it up in one location before, you'll you can go knowing you can go back there, knowing that it's going to be there again. At this point, I probably should have switched to my um, only five minutes left. Uh, pulse rifle. Um, uh, there's, a, there's a few lines of sight here. Yes, I'm covered behind the box. You neutralize. I, uh, I think it would have been a better choice than the shotgun. And there we go. I just just changed there. But here's where I use you the uh, fist of havoc. I'm defending B. And I've got two men on me. Reloading, they're pushing me hard. There's only one way to get out of this, and that's the uh, the special. Low low health, good good use of defensive uh, special there, rather than using an attacking attacking way. Enemy captured zone But if you clip at the end of this video, you'll see me using it as an attacking method. Uh, even with a shotgun, don't forget, like Halo, go for your headshots. Whatever gun it is, you're going to get much more uh, much more joy getting headshots. Whether you're aiming down the sights or, or not, or from the hit. Again, just keep an eye on all three points. If um, if your team has two or three, just keep um, uh, you know, keep, keep defending. More efforts and just like play that, to the end. Play to the whistle. Get, get your punch in, punch in the right end. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I went 24 and 8. Kill death ratio of 3.0. 5 assists, 5 captures. Um, I will be playing more, obviously more more game types, more maps using the, the three different classes. This is just me as a Titan, uh, as my main main guy. Again, you do get some rewards at the end. It's a bit random. I, I played really well and not got rewards, and I played really crap and got and got some rewards. So. But yeah, just uh, you'll see this bonus clip coming up at the end now, uh, which is me using Fist of Havoc uh, in its attacking form. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want some more videos. Like it if you did. Favourite, comment, share. And I'll see you again for some more gameplay. Bye. You captured Zone B.